I bet you didn't know that humanity drinks over 2 billion cups of coffee every single day. That is an insane amount of coffee. For most of us, the day is literally garbage until we've had that first cup. It's our fuel, our power-up, our one moment of peace. But what if I told you that daily cup of coffee is secretly destroying you? One video tells you coffee is a super drink. The next one says it's basically poison. So what's the real answer? Today, we are exposing the good, the bad, and the genuinely ugly truth about coffee. Welcome to our channel. By the end of this video, you will know if coffee is your best friend or your worst enemy. And I promise you, the truth is going to blow your mind. Okay, let's start with the good stuff, because honestly, there's a ton of it. For years, everyone said coffee was bad for you, but the science has been coming in, and it paints an incredible picture. When you drink the right amount, coffee can be your ultimate life hack. The most obvious benefit? It makes you feel awake and ready to dominate the day. That jolt isn't just in your head. The caffeine in coffee is a crazy powerful stimulant that gets your brain firing on all cylinders, boosts your mood, and can even lower your risk of depression. It's the perfect sidekick for a huge project or a brutal workout, and it's why we all love it so much. But the benefits go so much deeper than just a morning buzz. Coffee is jam-packed with antioxidants. Think of these like your body's personal security team patrolling your system and taking down inflammation, which is the root cause of so many terrible diseases. And this is where it gets wild. Countless studies link drinking a moderate amount of coffee to a massively lower risk of some of the worst health problems out there. We're talking a lower risk for type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and some major liver conditions. The evidence is especially insane for lowering the risk of liver and endometrial cancers. In fact, some brand new research from 2024 shows that drinking around three cups a day is linked to a lower risk of getting heart disease and having a stroke. So to put it simply, the evidence is overwhelming. Your daily coffee might literally be helping you live a longer, healthier life. But, and this is a huge but, if it's so amazing, why do so many people feel jittery, anxious, and can't get a good night's sleep? That brings us to the dark side. For every person who feels like a superhero after drinking coffee, there's another person who feels like a complete nervous wreck. The exact thing that gives coffee its power, caffeine, is also what can make it turn on you and become your enemy. Let's talk about the number one victim, your sleep. Imagine your brain has a sleepiness meter that slowly fills up all day long. That's a chemical called adenosine. Caffeine comes in and puts a giant block on that meter so your brain never gets the message that it's time to rest. That's awesome at 8 in the morning, but it's an absolute disaster at 11 at night. Caffeine can stay in your system for hours, completely wrecking your natural sleep cycle, making it impossible to fall asleep and trashing the quality of the sleep you finally get. And then there's the anxiety. For some of us, caffeine sends our nervous system into absolute overdrive, giving us the jitters, a racing heart, and sometimes even a full-blown panic attack. If you're already an anxious person, drinking coffee can be like pouring gasoline on a fire. Beyond that, there are real physical dangers. Huge doses of caffeine can temporarily spike your blood pressure and heart rate. Coffee can also be brutal on your stomach. Its acid can trigger heartburn, acid reflux, or make the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, a condition that can seriously mess with your gut a thousand times worse. And finally, dependency. If you're one of those, don't talk to me before my coffee people, your body has gotten used to running on high octane fuel. When you suddenly take it away, the engine sputters and stalls. You're left with horrible withdrawal, pounding headaches, bone deep tiredness, being angry at everyone, 
and a brain fog so thick you can't even think straight, and it can last for over a week. But the story doesn't end there. There's an even darker side to coffee you've probably never even heard of. This is the part that never gets talked about, but it could be the most important part of whether your coffee is helping you or killing you. First, mycotoxins. These are toxins from mold that can grow on coffee beans. Now this is super rare for most people, but cheap, low quality coffee can have higher levels. The easiest way to avoid this, only buy high quality coffee from brands you actually trust. Next up, and this is a total game changer, how you make your coffee changes everything. If you love a French press or boiled Turkish coffee, you're drinking unfiltered coffee, which contains oily compounds called deterpenes. Think of these like tiny bits of sticky grease in your bloodstream that raise your bad LDL cholesterol and clog your arteries. The hero in this story, a simple paper filter. It acts like a super fine screen, catching all that grease before it ever gets into your cup. Just switching to a drip machine could be a life-saving move. And finally, the ugliest truth might be hidden in your DNA. Ever wonder why your friend can slam three espressos and sleep like a baby, but your afternoon coffee has you staring at the ceiling? The secret is a gene called CYP1A2. It controls how you process caffeine. Think of it like this. Your body has a drainage system for caffeine. Fast metabolizers have a wide open pipe. Caffeine flows right through them. Slow metabolizers have a narrow, clogged drain. For them, caffeine backs up, sticks around forever, and makes all the bad side effects a million times worse. Studies even show that for slow metabolizers, drinking more coffee is linked to a higher risk of high blood pressure and even heart attacks. And estimates show that up to half the population might be slow metabolizers, which means for millions of people, that daily coffee is a complete genetic gamble. So, after all of that, what's the final answer? Is coffee good or bad? The truth is, it's neither. Coffee is a powerful tool, and today I'm going to show you how to use it for your body. Here is your ultimate guide to making coffee your friend. Rule one, know your limit. For most healthy adults, the absolute maximum is 400 milligrams of caffeine a day. That's about three to four normal size cups of black coffee. If you're pregnant, the limit is 200 milligrams or less. Rule two, get the timing right. Wait 90 to 120 minutes after you wake up to have your first cup. Your body's natural cortisol is like an alarm clock that's already ringing to wake you up. If you drink coffee immediately, you're just making noise. By waiting, you let that natural alarm fade. So when the caffeine hits, it's a real power up. And the most important science-backed rule, stop drinking all caffeine at least six to eight hours before bed. Do not break this rule. Rule three, listen to your body. This is the golden rule. If coffee makes you feel anxious, messes up your stomach, or destroys your sleep, you are probably a slow metabolizer or just sensitive to it. That is, your body screaming at you. Listen to it. Try cutting back to just one small cup in the morning, or maybe switching to decaf is the smartest move you can make. Rule four, keep it clean. The healthiest coffee you can drink is just black coffee. Piling in sugar and syrups turns this amazing health drink into a sugar bomb that completely erases all the benefits. A cup of black coffee has almost zero calories. If you absolutely can't drink it black, a tiny splash of milk or some cinnamon is okay. And remember, if you care about your cholesterol, you have to be drinking filtered coffee. So I have to ask you, based on everything we just went over, are you a fast or a slow metabolizer? How does coffee actually make you feel? Let me know in the comments right now. And if this video helped you, do me a huge favor and smash that like button and subscribe for more videos where we uncover the real science behind your health.
At the end of the day, coffee isn't good or bad, it's personal. It's an incredibly complex drink with a massive impact on your body. The key is to be smart about it. Enjoy it, but don't let it control you. When you listen to your own body and respect your biology, you can make that daily cup of coffee one of the best parts of a healthy life. Thanks for watching.